On Wednesday, New York Times bestselling author Denise Kiernan dropped by the McClung Museum of Natural History and Culture to speak about her latest book, The Girls of Atomic City. Um, I have uh, produced soccer for ESPN, I have worked for MSNBC, I've done all sorts of stuff, but throughout all of this, my heart and what I love most is telling true stories. And I really like telling true stories about people who tend to be slightly forgotten by history people sort of on the periphery. Because as a reader, as well as as a writer, these are the people that I often find myself most connected to and the people that I can relate to better. So um, I'll keep it Having produced pieces for ESPN and MSNBC, Kiernan is also known for being the head writer for the first season of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And she gave insight into the many women who grew up in the 1940s and what their lives were like. Amateur hour. Um, the best thing I ever heard was a woman said the best way to get it in was to stick a bottle in the bottom of a bag of dirty baby diapers because the guards would never go digging. Uh, the gate and elsewhere on the facility, you were constantly being checked. There were uh, passes and badges. They were sometimes color-coded. They were sometimes um, number-coded. Um, and the other thing that greeted Celia was an awful lot of mud. That's another thing. Everybody has stories about alcohol and mud. Um, you know, Oak Ridge was built very, very, very quickly. It was a... Kiernan also touched on the status of Oak Ridge during the time. Now nearby, uh, Oak Ridge was referred to as Clinton Engineer Works. Uh, the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, which was overseeing the project's construction, they referred to specific, um, they referred to their project <coughs> according to geographic location. So the nearest town at the time was Clinton. And this is Tony, and Tony lived in Clinton. Right. And she was right. bored, and no calls will be dropped. There were already also military personnel, both male and female, who were in Oak Ridge. And uh, this to me is like a, a little Oak Ridge rosy. At the end, Kiernan answered questions from the audience, including one about the involvement of women scientists. There were. Um, uh, yes, there absolutely, there absolutely were. Uh, one of the women in my book uh, was a chemist, Virginia. Um, and there were certainly women at um, higher levels as well, in, in all, at all the sites, um, not just over it. From the Daily Beacon, this is G2R Cut.